Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Scott and welcome to the Fandom Pastor, which can be found on our YouTube channel, Facebook page, or podcast. The Fandom Pastor is for all of us who love our fandoms and our faith. Fandoms are anything that somebody has a deep love for. Harry Potter, Broadway musicals, cult films, to name just a few. Join the Fandom Pastor as we see how God is connected to it all. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Brandon with our next episode of The Fandom Pastor. Um, we are continuing our series on toys of the 80s. Uh, the clue from last time is that Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, Georgia is where each of these toys are born and you can actually visit to see a birth. We are talking about Cabbage Patch Dolls. Uh, if you grew up during this time period, you remember the frenzy when these things came out, especially that Christmas, uh, of when these things came out. Oh my gosh, was there chaos when that happened? There was fist fights, there was attacks, uh, on, the, because of these crazy dolls. Now, maybe I was one of the weirdos, but I actually didn't have one. And I didn't care. Uh, I didn't want one. It wasn't that big a deal to me. But uh, if you remember these particular baby dolls, um, you remember that one of the selling points was that each of these Cabbage Patch dolls were unique. They were individual. There were different head molds, eye shapes, colors, hairstyle colors, um, there was different clothing options. Each one looked different from the other. And then also, uh, when you got the box, you got a birth certificate uh, with that kid's first and middle name on it. And so it made it even more individualized uh, for those who were adopting them. And as we think about this, we have to recognize that uh, that we are adopted by God into his family. John 1, 12 says, To all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And this is what has happened, that we have, uh, if we choose to believe in his name, and it doesn't mean just believing that he exists, but actually putting our faith uh, in with him, um, we can find that we have been given a special right, a, a special heritage, uh, in that we have been adopted into this family. It doesn't matter how different we are from others, how unique we are from others. God accepts us into his family as his adopted children. We are special. We are unique in our individual yeah, individuality, but also special in that we are all accepted together. And so, as we think about that, what does that mean to you? What does it mean to be adopted by God? I'm not going to give you the answer. I want you to think about that. What does it mean to be adopted by God into his family, into his unique family? What does that mean to you? Because it means, it should mean something special. So think about that. Think about what it means. So our clue from uh, or for next time is as we continue our series on Toys of the 80s. And the clue is that this iconic toy line and cartoon series was a result of the success of Star Wars. It was a big series, um, but it was not connected to Star Wars. It was kind of uh, kind of going a, a different way. So see what you can come up with. Thanks. God bless and see you next time.